What's up, boys? Got another question on the Instagram here uh, from Gage Edwards. Good one. He says, hey, coach, I'm a high school junior and a right-handed pitcher. I topped out at 89 mile an hour this fall and have been consistent 85 to 86. Recently, I was at a camp at UCSB, which is my dream school, where I was told that I needed to work on adding movement to my fastball because my fastball was flat. Any tips on how I can do this? I've considered moving to a two-seam or a sinker, but I don't want to lose a lot of velocity. Does a sinker lose velocity? Just want your opinion as the sinker expert. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I am the sinker expert. For those of you who don't know, um, my sinker was my best pitch. It was ranked number one in the whole San Diego Padres uh, organization as a sinker. Number two as a fastball. Um, there was this Dominican, Dominican kid throwing like 147 miles an hour, so I was second to him. Um, my sinker was 96 miles an hour at its fastest. Um, and my slider was also number one in the whole organization. So... Um, when it comes to sinkers, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, so, as far as two-seam versus sinker, I always say go with the sinker. Who can throw a sinker? Anybody. I love the sinker. Anybody can throw the sinker. It's good for the arm. I don't want to say it's good for the arm. Pitching is risky in general, but it's not bad like a curveball is for the arm uh, or can be for the arm, okay? So, a sinker is a very great pitch for anyone to throw. Now, with that being said, does it take off velocity? For me personally, it's different for everybody, but for me personally, my four seam was about one mile an hour faster than my sinker, okay? And I had a lot of movement on my sinker. So you're still able to get a lot of speed, especially because the sinker, all you're really doing is pronating through it, and that's part of good pitching. So you're actually, you personally, may actually be able to throw your sinker just as hard as your four seam. Because if it's flat, you may not be getting as much pronation as you need. Okay, so you may be able to throw it just as hard. Some guys that I played with in professional baseball would throw it two to three miles an hour slower, their, their sinker versus their fastball. So again, it's different for everyone. Mine was one mile an hour slower than my four seam. I very rarely threw my four seam, however. Um, but that's the, that's the answer, is it's gonna be different for everyone. But try it out. I definitely recommend the sinker because it's a great, great pitch. And if you can get that downward movement versus that side to side movement and definitely versus that flat movement it's way better when I started throwing the sinker I was like this is like cheating almost I felt like it was cheating because guys were missing so bad like they when they were swinging they would swing and the ball would be like so far beneath their bat I was like this is amazing I love it you know so the sinker is a great great pitch and it's what got me to pro baseball because my junior year of college um, I was horrible and then I learned the sinker Senior year, came back, dominated, All-American at Auburn University. Um, so it's a great, great pitch, and that's what got me drafted. So um, if you guys want to learn how to throw the sinker, I've got an advanced sinker and slider training course where it teaches you everything about those two pitches. And again, those were my two best pitches, ranked number one um, in the whole Padres organization. So if you want to check those out, I'll leave a link below where you can check that out. Um, definitely recommend the uh, sinker to really anybody who's a pitcher. Um, this guy's going to throw a sinker. I don't know if he's righty or lefty yet, but he's going to throw a sinker once he can keep his head up. But uh, I hope you guys like that answer. That was a great question. Um, don't forget to uh, let me know your questions. You can let me know on Instagram, at YouGoProBaseball, or on Snapchat, John Madden 1882 or right here on YouTube just leave me a comment below also leave me a comment below and let me know what pitches you throw and what pitches you want to learn to throw okay and uh, I'll hit you up with a reply and we'll talk some more and I'll see you in the next video thanks guys